Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be cutting open an oil filter today, but before we get into that fun act, I want to just talk about your two options on your aircraft. A lot of people have an oil filter. Some people swear your engine will never make TVO unless you have an oil filter on your airplane. Oil filters are changed every 50 hours. Uh, the oil's changed every 25. Um, um, so it just all depends on your preference of what you like. A lot of aircraft are equipped with a, a screen. Um, my first airplane, a Grumman Traveler, it only had a screen. Now I did fly it, you know, 700 hours a year and in three and a half years I went to TBO on it and all I ever had was a screen which I change every 25 hours. Uh, to do these, they come off the back of the aircraft with uh, four bolts. You pull out this screen, you go and you wash the screen, clean it, look for any particulate that comes up in the, uh, in the uh, filter medium when you've done it, and then you reinstall it, put a new gasket, making sure that this hole lines up with the oil hole in the back of the case. It will bolt on backwards and you won't have any oil pressure and that would be a bad day for your engine. So that's the only problem with these and you do, ch you do clean the screen every 25 hours and install with a new gasket. But now let's move on to the filter. So here's a, a typical oil filter, doesn't matter what shape or size they are. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this great little tool. A number of ways you can open these. Uh, one thing I've seen people do, which is which just cracks me up, is they take a die grinder and they cut and throw metal into the filter that they're trying to examine. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it mechanically. This just runs around, scores it, much like a tubing cutter. And as you can see, it does not take long for the filter to come apart. We've cut the top off, we dump the top off, we're going to put the tool back out of our way. There's your top off your filter. Now we disassemble the rest of the filter, pulling off all the little bits and pieces until we're left with the pleated filter. Be careful, these metal edges are quite sharp. And actually, before I reposition the camera to show the filter cut, um, for those of you with two-seaters who want to add an oil filter adapter, uh, here's a really nice one. Um, it actually throws the filter upward at a 45 degree angle, so when you go to change your oil, um, the filter's already drained back into the engine. So this is a no-mess change oil filter. Um, it's the only spare one I have left. You know, if you're interested, give me a call at Yankee Aviation. Be happy to. Uh, sell it to you for your two-seater. But anyway, let's get on with cutting a filter open. Take a razor knife and you'll want to have a, um, a dry rag to get a lot of the oil off. And then I also use a rag to help hold the filter. Again, these are sharp metal edges and they will cut you. So with the first thing I'm going to look for is I'm looking for the metal uh, join between the pleat assembly. I'm going to go ahead and find that. Take a sharp razor knife and I'm going to cut on either side of that metal join. And as you can see I'm going all the way down to the uh, perforated inner core and then I grab it nice and tightly and take the razor knife and begin cutting my way through the pleated material. Now this is paper but it's tough paper trust me. And you cut all the way around Always making sure to stroke the sharp razor knife away from you. Don't ask me how I know that. Oil and sharp objects tend to cut people. Any mechanic will tell you that. Okay, now I've cut all the way around on that side. Flip it over. Grab it again and repeat for the other side of the paper pleat. Now they make a special tool for this, it's a couple of hundred bucks. I've never seen justified to have it. I just assume use the razor knife, keep the razor knife all the way out. this fun. Oh! It takes a while to cut through that paper pleat, even with a new, brand new razor knife. You get about three filters on a 
side of a blade. All right, well, I've cut through about as much as I can get. I'm going to dry my hands, and now I'm going to try to apply the pleated filter out. There we go. Starting to break loose. And as you can see, it breaks loose, and then you can just walk it on out. It'll tear sometimes. But what we're looking at on the inside of this filter, and you would normally hang this up and let all the oil drain off of it, and then come back look for any metal particulate that happens to be in the pleats. And as you can see on this filter, we don't have any metal bits at all. So the engine that this came off of was an 0320, and it's doing just fine. And you can remove the rest of the pleating same way. Check it all. Every once in a while you get really lucky and you get the whole darn thing out at one time. But since we didn't see, and there'll be filter, there we go, and it just comes out like an accordion. Hang it up overnight, let the oil run off. No metal in this filter at all. So that's a good job, and this is why you keep a rag handy. So that's how you cut open and inspect a filter. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. This is provided by our YouTube channel, Grumman Pilots, which directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. Thanks for watching.